What's up, people? Okay, this is kind of the cross-section isometric view of everything that I could think of at the moment. We'll start out with the hatchery, which is Angus's idea. Uh, to put stuff up here without the ACs in our way. Uh, my implication is to put rails, that way they can't wander in any direction but where you want them to go, maybe down here or something. And when you call them to say, my guy, you know on Wyvern has like a very huge turn radius when you whistle it. This makes it so that when it's doing its turn, it just pretty much just turns on a dime and you can pull it down. But uh, under here, this was Angus's idea of putting air conditioners. This is 15 ACs, which is about the recommended for a Giga. And uh, they do actually uh, affect the area above them one wall high. So uh, I got an egg over here just to show that on this ice wyvern. Huge area, put a lot of eggs. You maybe could put two of these on the hatchery floor and the rest of the space could be for storing milk, uh, other wyverns that don't need to be in this area, stuff like that that we're raising. There you go, uh, dropped it. You can see the incubation is going down. I have breeding on this test server very fast, so it's not the fastest, but it just goes to show you that it is incubating and not losing health and that'll hatch soon, but we won't do anything with it. But uh, also, another good thing about this is uh, egg falls through, or the baby falls through after it hatches and it lands here, we still get it out. Uh, when I hatched my wyvern uh, that Taze got me, under the thatch hut that, I've, that we dubbed the Inferno Room that has all the torches on uh, Server 69, uh, got up under the hut, had to demo the floor to get it out, so uh, this would kind of solve that if that problem arises again. And also if it falls out here, you can still get it out. Plenty of walk room for a baby. And uh, plenty of room to walk around this way. You have to you know, just get to your baby that's over here and there's like a ton of them or something. So that's a pretty cool design. This is just the hatchery section. I just kind of, this is just a part of the hatchery that's just kind of simulated and this is like the boundary. Because this thing's gonna be massive. What you see here, I'm gonna put in fly mode. Fly mode real quick. Yeah, um, just this little piece right here is maybe a I don't know, maybe a tenth of the actual size. But yeah, what, I, what you see there with those wyverns, uh, we'll just go to the first floor. Um, those three wyverns, right there, ice wyverns, that's uh, roughly a third of the base on one side. So uh, just think about that and multiply it by three, and it's going to go way over there. And that's just one side, so if you could get 10 on one side, or 9, or however many you want to put, you uh, pretty much mirror that. This is kind of like the divider where we would like run our wyverns through, like there's a gate over there. We bring them in and park them, kind of like parking places. And just mirror what's over there over here, and that's your other section, times 3. And that's a lot of surface area, dude. But, um... Pretty much there's the uh, elevator that goes up to the next floor. And if I take you over here, you can see that we have uh, walls going up. This is about six or seven high, and, and just uh, say your wyverns, you know how they always fly way up in the frickin' air if they go crazy? Well, uh, more than likely if they fly in here, they can't go but so high, so you can mount them easy. And uh, that kind of eliminates that problem. And I got the door so it kind of swings open. And um, then you got your next floor up here. That's the same uh, headroom. And you have another floor up here. And you're pretty much going to um, 
double these two floors again and that'll give you four floors and maybe the uh, entirety like maybe the fifth floor you know could be the entirety of this whole thing without the, the middle section so, or you could do it again and have six total floors um, just name the top two for parking you know um, the wyverns that we do use or whatever any of them could be uh, parking for whatever use you want but uh, I don't think it'd be that hard to actually get one in here when you have the gates open. It just kind of, kind of shows the outside of uh, this up on pillars, ceilings, and then you have the big behem gate. And that's kind of like what it would be like uh, just uh, building around it to make it look good. And wyverns take up about four by nine tiles. So this is just kind of like a parking spot, long tail, so you have a little more room. You got some margin over here to walk around them, in between them, so there's no hassle like getting stuck on the wing, you know how it is, how it is when you're trying to get around a wyvern. And um, here's a pretty fire wyvern I spawned in, pretty good colors. I'm just going to show you how the elevator works. Uh, I wish they would have made this a 3 by what is that, four tiles? Instead it's a two by four, which is stupid. But um, you kind of have to get like this, and hit E, and you go up to the next floor, and there could be one or two of these, just depending on what we need. And then at whatever level you want to go to, sixth floor, fifth floor, third floor, whatever, empty spot, you just park your wyvern, or go out however you want to do it. That seems to work pretty good though. Sounds like we got our wrecks around here somewhere. Oh, that's the freaking Rex that hatched. Okay, cool. They really need to fix those sounds. They're not that heavy, you know. Anyway, that's basically it. Um, except for the generator, we could run it wherever. I just kind of have it under here. Um, serving a purpose of powering that and uh, powering these ACs. But uh, just standing back and looking at this, this is going to be massive. We're going to go aerial view just to give a better shot of everything. But yeah, this is going to be crazy build. From the red line back to the door, that's roughly a third of it. Well, actually, you could say that's a sixth of it. A sixth of it if you double, you know, um, what you see there mirrored over to the right of the behemoth gate from our perspective. That's going to be just about maybe a sixth of it, including the runway there. So, um, there's another piece, there's another piece, there's another piece, there's another piece, there's another piece. And that's just one level. And then you go up however many levels we need. It's going to be a long time to farm all this, is all I can tell you. But we will do it if you want to. I just need some help. Later.